Did you know that simply changing a few words in your marketing headline can actually increase your conversions by like 30 to 400%? And when I say conversions, I'm referring to getting traffic or maybe getting opt-ins to a list or maybe sales to your product or service. It's been well known that headlines are the most powerful part of any marketing content. In fact, top corporate media giants have relied on powerful headlines before the internet was even invented. So let's have a little fun. Let me show you some real life examples, but let's try to do a little test and see if you can guess which one of the following headlines actually work better. Check this out. Now let's take a look at this example here. I'm on leadpages.net, just within their blog there. They have a bunch of different split tests that they reveal to the public. So let's just take a look at one of them here. Which headline increased the opt-ins by a whopping 388%? Now let's zoom in on these two squeeze pages so we can really see the difference between the headlines. Now this is version A. Here's what every pilot should know before buying a single engine airplane. So they're offering some sort of free report to make it easier to buy an engine for an airplane. So let's take a look at the second headline. And the only difference between these two squeeze pages is just the headline. You're about to learn the secrets that most people will never know about buying a single engine airplane. So between those two different squeeze pages, one of them increased conversions by 388%. And that's pretty big, especially when you're trying to sell an engine. You imagine just getting more opt-ins could mean thousands of dollars just because of a few words in a headline. So let's just put that on the back burner and think about which one you think got the better results. Let's move on to the next one. Here's another one where they actually changed the headline plus the subheadline, and it increased opt-ins by 216%. So here's version A, sick of cold calling? Learn 13 ways to generate an endless supply of hot qualified leads and never cold call again. And here's the next one, the never cold call again system. Learn how to generate an endless supply of hot qualified leads and never cold call again. So those are the two versions there. And here's just one more, where one of these headlines increased the, uh, the conversions of this landing page by 41%. Let's take a look at the different versions. Brand new ebook, MCAT exam strategies, a six week guide to crushing the MCAT free ebook. And this is the other one that they changed here, new MCAT strategy. So anyways, one of these increased the conversions by 41%. So let's take a look at the results. So going back to the first example, the one that increased conversions by 388%. If you guessed version B, you got it right. And the second example, if you chose version A, you got it right. That's the one here, sick of cold calling compared to this version here. And finally, the last example where it increased by 41%, if you selected version B, this one here, you got it right. As you can see, just by slightly changing your headline, you can dramatically increase your conversions. And if you're not split testing your headlines or even using proven headlines in your marketing, then you could be losing out on like 400% more money from your business. Now just to emphasize this even further, I'm on quantcast.com and I'm looking at the uh, stats for a site called Upworthy. Now they started back in around 2012, as you can see here and they pretty much had no traffic. Well, Upworthy is like a very popular online blog and they, they basically rely heavily on their headlines in order to get traffic. Well, let's take a look at Fast Forward Today and see how much traffic they're actually getting. As you can see here, they're getting like 700,000 to a million views from mobile web, web and also like anywhere from 200,000 to up to half a million unique visitors from online. So you can see just how powerful headlines are in your marketing. And the cool part is it actually only takes like one powerful headline to really flood your content with viral shares, clicks and traffic. But there's a big problem with this kind of thing. These huge corporate giants basically have endless budgets and they have really deep pockets to spend a lot of money on copywriters. And these guys will pop out like 25 to 50 headlines per article content. And not only that, they have to spend even more money on data analysts so they can optimize which one of those headlines is converting the best for their content. 
and that can cost thousands and thousands of dollars per month. So that's why we created Fresh Title. With Fresh Title, you can instantly pump out hundreds of proven titles and headlines for just about any content you need. And as a result, you will save thousands of dollars on hiring expensive copywriters and data analysts. By simply entering your main subject keyword, for example, Facebook marketing, weight loss, speed reading, fire making, sports photography, basically any niche that you can think of, and Fresh Title uses a built-in method to pump out 830 pre-optimized and proven headlines that you can simply copy and paste into your business in literally a few seconds. It's actually quite amazing. You not only can enter in just one main keyword, you can also answer a series of four very simple questions about your service or product and the software will pump out an additional 125 very optimized headlines that are also proven to convert. Now we didn't stop there, we also included a massive database of over 350,000 high quality headlines and titles that you can instantly search using the built-in swipe bank tool. And also within this swipe bank tool, you get another additional database containing over 70,000 email subject lines that we've used within our business, as well as other top performing subject lines that you can instantly copy and modify for any marketing that you need. Plus, this tool is an amazing idea incubator. Basically, you could use it to come up with new fresh ideas to write about within your niches. Having over 420,000 ready-made headlines and email subject lines at your fingertips gives you a powerful advantage over your competition and can really save you hours of researching trying to find your next perfect headline. But while I was developing this software, I really wanted to include another tool that truly provides fresh top headlines. So I came up with the news headlines tool. You simply enter in your main subject keyword and the tool will instantly pull back all of the latest and most popular news headlines from both Google and Bing. And this is where you can truly spy on the top corporate giants in real time and then model your content from using their already proven headlines. So now you don't have to spend hundreds on copywriter or even spend hours slaving away on coming up with like 25 to 50 different headlines for each and every piece of content you're working on. Using this tool, you can see the exact headlines that are already converting. We also included another tool called My Titles. It's basically just an easy to use personal database of your own favorite titles and headlines. And basically from any one of the other tools, you simply click the add link and it will send that title over to the My Titles tool. And in the title editor, you can modify the headline to your needs. You can even use the built-in synonym thesaurus to make your headlines truly unique. Plus, making your headlines unique will make sure that you don't copy anyone else's content and avoid copyright infringements. In addition, you can enter notes such as category names or even results from an email marketing campaign. For example, I like entering my open rates and click-through rates when I'm using my high performing email subject lines so that in the future I can use those again. You can also optionally set the rating for your favorite titles and that really makes it easy to keep track of your top performing headlines. This tool even keeps track of how many times you copy your headlines to your computer's clipboard which gives you another level of how many times you actually use a particular headline and then you can instantly know which ones you are actually using the most. This is an incredible tool and we've built this in here to make it really easy for you to keep track of all of your personal favorite headlines and titles. In addition to getting the fresh title software, you will also get our title analyzer software as a free bonus. Now while I was designing fresh title, I realized there was a great demand for a software tool that can predict which one of your headlines will actually convert better in terms of SEO traffic, click-through rates, open rates, likes, shares, or comments, things like that. So I developed Title Analyzer. Simply type in your headline, click Analyze, and Title Analyzer will calculate an overall headline score on a scale from zero to 100, where the larger the score, the better your headline should perform. You can also analyze multiple headlines at a time, helping you pinpoint which headlines you should be using in your marketing. 
Title Analyzer uses four separate data analysis functions within a very complex equation that will determine your overall headline score, which includes the power word density, which is basically how many emotional marketing words are in your headline. Also, the function analyzes the optimal number of characters and the optimal number of words in your headline. Plus the software performs complex sentimental analysis, which determines the emotional polarity of your headline. Basically, does your headline convey happiness, sadness, or anger? It's proven that headlines with a strong positive or a strong negative sentiment produce much higher response rates. Also, by double clicking the overall score, you can get a more detailed overview of your headline where the software actually gives you suggestions on how to further improve your headline score. We have processed well over 200,000 headlines through this software and the results are shockingly impressive. Plus, you can modify the internal PowerWords database by adding your own words or removing words which gives you the ability to further optimize your results. In our tests, we were able to get incredible results by first analyzing a bunch of headlines and then just taking the headlines that have the highest score and then running our tests with those high score headlines. And what that did, it allowed us to find the best converting headlines while minimizing the amount of split testing we had to do. If you think about it, it's kind of like having a real crystal ball, but it actually works. For example, here I am on unbounce.com and I found this case study and I decided to you know, see how well it works. I, I saw these three different headlines. You can see they did a split test and these two headlines here increased in terms of conversions compared to their control. So let's go ahead and stick those into my software and see what happens. So as you can see here, the software actually works just the same as what they said on there. So it was a pretty good prediction. Both of these increased in conversions and you can see here you got a little bit better um, overall score for those other two headlines. In fact, I've tested this software with, you know, like I said, 100,000 different headlines and usually it's, uh, it's correct. It works pretty well and basically just gives you a helping hand in trying to understand which one you should be using for your content. So one practice I like doing is I'll come up with 10 different headlines, I'll throw them into the title analyzer and then I'll take all the ones that are green and test those out. So it kind of gives you one extra step over everyone else and uh, really helps you find the winning headline that will increase your conversions. Now just to drill home how important it is to really get your headline correct, take a look at this case study here. 89% increase in sales by simply adding one single word to their headline, the word supplement, natural joint relief supplement. Well, if they would have used my title analyzer, they would have saw that they would have got a higher score by using the word supplement within their actual headline. So the software does work and can really make a difference between making, you know, little sales to, you know, 90% more sales. That's massive, massive difference. Again, if you decide to grab the fresh title software today, you're also going to get the bonus title analyzer software absolutely free. So let's just quickly reiterate, you're going to be getting that instant title builder within the software, which allows you to create over 830 optimized headlines based on a single keyword. So you just enter in one keyword or answer a few extra questions and boom, you'll have nearly a thousand optimized headlines that you can use in any of your marketing. Plus, you're also gonna get that swipe bank tool which includes a database of over 350,000 headlines and a secondary database which includes 70,000 email subject lines. And you're also going to be getting that news headline tool. Now, I do want to mention that the swipe bank tool and the news headline tool, those two tools are actually going to be in a pro version in a future version of fresh title, which will cost extra. But right now you're going to be getting those absolutely free and you're going to get the entire software with no limitations at all. But in the near future, those are going to be part of an upgrade into a fresh title pro version. So it's really important that if you're watching this video right now, you do want to take advantage of getting the full version of fresh title right now before those tools are going to be added to the pro version. Now, in addition to that, you're also going to get the My Titles database, and you're also going to get that built-in synonym thesaurus so you can make any of the content unique. 
And as we already mentioned, you're gonna get that title analyzer software absolutely free, which again, helps you try to predict, kind of like a crystal ball, knowing which one of your headlines is gonna work the best. And what you really wanna do is come up with like five to 10 headlines, run them through the title analyzer, and try to stick with the ones that have the highest score, and then test those ones in your marketing. And you'll be guaranteed to have a high converting title also, both of the software programs, Fresh Title and Title Analyzer, work on a PC as well as a Mac computer. In fact, we give you two separate install programs, one for a native PC, one for native Mac, so you're not relying on the Adobe Air platform. In addition, you're going to get a 30-day 100% money-back guarantee. So if you're not satisfied with the software at all in any way, just let us know and we'll give you back all your money with no questions asked. Also, you're allowed to install the software on a total of three personal computers that you own, and that includes both PC and Mac. And as you can see, we're currently running a 60% off private discount offer, but this offer is actually gonna be ending very soon. So we're just doing this during our launch of the product, or maybe a special offer we just decide to run uh, during a limited time. So you'll see a timer or you'll see some information on this page. Make sure you uh, pay attention to that timer because once it goes down to zero, this offer is gonna be over and you'll lose out and miss out on the 60% uh, private discount. Thanks for watching and take advantage of this offer as soon as you can and we'll see you on the inside. Okay, so I just hopped on over to my Mac computer and I'll just uh, demonstrate it here. So I'm on the same page there, the freshtitle.com forward slash download. So let's go ahead and download the Mac and I am using a uh, Chrome web browser as well here. So let's go ahead and just click download the Mac version here. And you can see it is downloading right here. Just take a second. Uh, just about done. And most likely see that warning again. I said an error, but it's not really an error. It's just a warning. They're just warning us saying, you know, it might be dangerous or something. But again, it's not dangerous. So just uh, go ahead and click the little down button. Click keep. And now it'll be saved to wherever you saved it. And it was saved to my download folder. So again, to get to the download folder, you go here and go show in folder. And you know exactly where it is. And when that warning kind of shows up, you might see a weird file like this is unconfirmed just go ahead and, and remove that you see that then all we got to do is just double click it and then the Mac it just automatically extracts in the same folder and then double click this it's a DMG file a disk image file and it will bring up the disk image here and just simply grab the fresh title folder and drop it over to the applications and uh, I'll just go ahead and click replace and it stuck it in there for me and you can actually see the folder kind of showed up here but if I go there and click on fresh title you may see a warning like this application down for the internet are you sure you want to open it you can say yeah it's okay it's totally fine I'm using what operating system I have right now I have the 10.10.5 .10 so I noticed that earlier versions you may get even more warnings so click open, it should work. Yeah, it came up here. See, it came up. So everything should work just fine here. Um, if you encounter some other warnings that uh, limit you from opening the software, what you can do is go over to the Apple and click on System Preferences. And in here, you will see Security and Privacy, so click on that. And then you can see I already changed it. That's why there was no problems here. Um, you see at the very bottom, allow apps downloaded from anywhere. Since I have that, then I can install apps wherever I want. And so what it, you what you do is you just click. If you see yours is Mac App Store or this one only, you can click this little lock button. And then you're required to sign in. So I'll sign in here. And after you do that, it gives you control. Then just click on anywhere, then click the little lock button again, and that's it. And then it should install no problem. And again, don't have to worry about the software having any sort of bugs or viruses or anything like that. It's all, it's all safe to use, and that's how you install on both a PC and a Mac. Thanks for watching.
want to record this quick video here to uh, show you how to download the software using the Chrome web browser and uh, talk about that little error that shows up here let me just show you so let's go in and download it so all you gotta do is stick your email address in there and this is the email address you used when you ordered the product you click get download links and it will reveal the downloads here for both the software so you got fresh title and just underneath it is title analyzer and you can see the downloads for both um, Windows and Mac so I'm just going to show it on a Windows here but this little error that I'm going to show you is actually similar on a Mac as well if you're using Chrome web browser so just click download here and I'll go ahead and just download it to my downloads folder and you can see down here it's just downloading okay just it just finished downloading there and you can see it says is not a commonly downloaded and could be dangerous um, basically what that means is you know it, this file has never been seen before on the internet and the reason why is because I just designed its brand new software and it has never been out before basically this is just a kind of like a warning that uh, Chrome wants to help you prevent getting in trouble with bad files but you don't have to worry about um, this zip file there's no there's nothing harmful in it there's no viruses or anything I actually designed the software from scratch and I host the files on Amazon S3 servers and I believe they don't even allow infected files to exist on their servers so it's, there's it, there's nothing to worry about basically but when you encounter this all you have to do is click this little drop down here it's the same thing on a Mac I'll just bring it up a little bit you'll have a little arrow there you click that and just click keep and then now the file will stay on your hard drive so all you have to do now is you can click that again and go um, show in folder if you can see that there click there and show in folder and it'll bring it up here it's just off to the side there there it is and then to install it on a, a Windows it's really easy you just um, just right click click extract all and I usually uncheck that and just go um, extract and it will create a folder and put the setup file in it then you just double click the setup file and then just click the next button there next just keep clicking it and once it's all done it'll be installed on your desktop then once you double click on the desktop icon it'll come up like so In this video, I'm going to show you how to use the Fresh Title software. So I'll quickly go through all the different features. This software is used to come up with um, powerful headlines or titles or subheadlines or whatever you need for any content you want. So this comes really handy in things like uh, blog posts, uh, Twitter posts, Facebook posts, uh, sorry, posts, um, Facebook ads, email subject lines, sales page headlines and subheadlines, article titles, forum posts. Facebook group posts, Amazon product listing titles, Google PPC ads, solo email ads, press releases, offline flyers, ebook titles, reports. I can go on and on and on here, but pretty much anything you could think of, you need some sort of headline. What Fresh Title will do, it gives you some fresh ideas for uh, different titles that you can use in your content. Now I'll say like titles or headlines or subheadlines throughout this video, but when I refer to a title, I'm just meaning some piece of content like a headline. So it's just sort of a generic um, sort of term I'm giving to a headline. So let's go ahead and get started here and quickly show you how to do this. Now it's really simple. All you really need to do is go in here and type in your main niche keyword, your your noun of whatever um, you know, whatever you're marketing or whatever you're doing your content about. You know, it could be things like Facebook marketing, weight loss, fire making, you know, gold panning, rock climbing, camping, stop smoking, you know, you can golf swing, something like that. Let's go ahead and just type in Facebook marketing. Hit enter or click the generate button and you'll get 837 different headlines that have um, contains your actual uh, keyword there. So it's really cool. So now you have pretty much endless amount of content here that you can work from. And in addition, you can also come up with ideas of your content. This is cool, like Facebook marketing gone in five days or money back. Like That doesn't really make sense. Sometimes you actually have to uh, modify the title a little bit, but this is an excellent way of uh, you know getting started with what you should write with your headline. Get better Facebook marketing results by following three simple steps. Like That's a really powerful headline. And I got that just by simply typing in this word and boom, they're all there. So you can see there's a whole bunch 
And if you want to get this uh, this particular title, all you have to do is just click this little copy link and it will copy it to the clipboard. Then in a blog post, for example, you just click where you want to put your headline, right click and just paste and boom, there it is. Next I want to show you is another tool in here where you can add more information. So this is just if you're in a hurry and want to get some titles right away, you can go ahead and use the quick method. So let's just actually clear this all out and go over to the more tab and you'll see you can answer an optional four questions. You got to you can answer any one you want. It doesn't matter. There's no like uh, mandatory. You got to answer at least one question, but just go ahead and answer any one of these questions or all of them. If you answer more questions, you'll actually get more um, headlines back. And if you've got troubles trying to think of what you should be writing in here, just go ahead and hover your mouse over top of these little question marks and you'll get a little bit of help there that will uh, kind of get you in the right direction. So let's go ahead and continue here. Let's go uh, Facebook marketing or how would you say what's your main benefit? Make money with Facebook. What are the expected results? Make I don't know one thousand dollars in one week. How quickly can you? Uh, well, I guess you can put it down there. Don't have to put it here. You really play around with what you want to do, right? In one week. How many steps? I don't know, five proven. Simple steps, something like that. Go ahead and click generate. 125 uh, headlines and titles here. So, who else wants to make money with Facebook and make $1,000? You can make $1,000 in one week, guaranteed. New discovery reveals how to make money with Facebook. Like, you got pretty much a ton of different headlines here that you can actually work from now. So, this really gets you going quickly and finding. Um, Headlines that will really bring you a lot of response as in you know likes and shares or clicks or open rates or whatever You're trying to do with your content. This is really going to help you out I've been stuck many times trying to think well, what kind of headline am I going to use here? Well, this really helps out So that's just the builder tool So everything else is pretty much explanatory here If you want to copy any of these to the clipboard you can just copy them You could even just select a bunch right click and just select copy selected titles. You can actually copy all of the titles if you'd like. Now let's go ahead and move on to the swipe bank. So that was the title builder. In the next one here, in the swipe bank, what we do is I've integrated two database files. One file contains 350,000 headlines. That's a lot of headlines. It took me a long time to, to uh, get all these and I basically just searched all over the internet and found a whole bunch of headlines that are very popular and get a lot of viral attention. And I also integrated another database file of over 70,000 email subject lines. I've done a lot of email marketing, probably around 15 years of email marketing. So what I've done is I've actually taken all the emails that I've received from other marketers and my own personal emails subject lines and I made it into one big fat file so you actually have access to over 400,000 headlines here so it's pretty wicked so this is basically an idea incubator if you need to come up with some idea for your niche this is it okay so let's just do an example here let's just go ahead again with the Facebook marketing you got 69 headlines in there that have the word Facebook marketing in it. And this is where you can start looking at and see something that catches your eye. You know, maybe you, you want to do a blog post on Facebook marketing, but you don't know what to write about. Well, check this out. Why not do five small business Facebook marketing tips to bring you more business? There's some major Facebook marketing pitfalls. Talk about stuff you don't want to do in Facebook marketing. So this gives you a lot of different ideas on what to write for your content. Let's try something else. Let's clear all this out here and just type in marketing. And look at that. In seconds, we got 8,703 headlines. Pretty wicked. So again, you can go through here and select the, select the ones that you know catch your interest and you want to use in your marketing. And uh, let's go ahead and try the email subject lines. You'll notice with the email subject lines, you'll have a lot of fancy little things going on in here like a lot of numbers. I find that numbers really help 
with uh, with your headline to get click through rates for email subject lines and doing little things like putting brackets around things and little number signs those always help with open rates so you can see we actually have 1736 headlines here that we can actually use in our emails so really good content there let's move on to the news headline this tool is pretty wicked what I've done is this will scrape the latest news headlines from Google and Bing from their RSS feeds so you can go ahead and if you don't have any idea what you want to write in here what niche or keyword just click this button over here and it will go out and grab all the latest headlines right now from Google and Bing so you got 52 headlines here you can go along and you can see which search engine they're from what country you can also select a different country as well to get different headlines the date um, you have the link you also can copy the headline and you can also add it to the my titles I'll get to that in a second but here again you have all the different headlines that you can take a look at here and model from so let's clear that out and let's say we want to continue with you know Facebook marketing well, let's try something else let's try like hair loss now you got uh, 60 headlines with hair loss the latest headlines that are out there so it's pretty powerful for getting some content that you need to write about or you know looking for some headlines you want to put in your blog or emails <clears throat> This, is, this tool is just awesome too and that's why we integrated in here and with all these different um, grids here you have this little search button so if you click search you can instantly search as you type so if you just want to see all the headlines actually have the word Facebook in it it'll um, <clears throat> filter it as you type or we say uh, make or complete so I've got four headlines there with the word complete so and each tool has that search little uh, quick search thing as well let's look at the my titles this is basically kinda like your own personal database or repository of your own titles that you would like to use it just kinda keep saved away so instead of putting all your titles like in a text file and saving on your desktop like we all do <laughs> I think I have a bunch of files on my desktop <clears throat> but anyhow this makes it a little easier to organize it and gives you a few little options like adding notes for that headline and also rating your headline and even the amount of times you've copied this headline to your clipboard that comes in handy let's say you have a headline that you use over and over and over again well you'd like to know which one that is you just have to sort by the number of copies and you'd know let's go ahead and check it out so let's go over to the one of the things here, like the um, the builder let's say we're gonna use um, I don't know this one right here you can right click and, and select send to my titles or you can just click the little add button over, or sorry add link over here and it'll add it over to the my title section and what it does it adds it to the um, title editor so this little box up here is a title editor it's basically just a text box really <laughs> you can go in here and you can actually you know take out those little dots there if you don't want that and put an exclamation mark or something like that and you can go ahead and work with it here and change words if you'd like now let me talk about some of the tools I integrated into this little editor here now you can right click and access these tools here or you can um, access the tools over here as well so there's there's a couple here that's really cool um, the capitalization tool here will capitalize all the title words but it does it uh, strategically so um, you'll see here if we capitalize it all okay I just pause the video there for a second and I went and I made it all um, lowercase except the first one there well you know that if you do a lot of marketing online and you're doing like headlines for sales pages and stuff it's usually common practice to actually uh, you know capitalize the first letter of important words not all words but important ones so they kinda stand out and uh, you know they bring the reader into the content easier now this software I've built that into the software so you don't have to do it like things like and the word and you don't need to capitalize it but other words like uh, money or make money you want to have those first letters capitalized so all you do is you click tools capitalize title words and boom everything should be capitalized that should be for example and wasn't but everything and with wasn't uh, capitalized but money make and can were so I got a cool little formula in there that takes care of that for you so that will make it nice and pretty for you so when you go and paste it wherever you're gonna put it say into a blog title or maybe a sub headline and then you'll have everything formatted nicely 
Another really cool tool we put in there is a synonym tool, a thesaurus. So let's say, for example, you didn't want to use a certain word in here, like like the word really. I'm not sure if we'll find something. Let's go ahead and right click that and we check the thesaurus. Or we can also go up here and click thesaurus as well. And it will go in and find other words that are related to that, alternate words for that. So um, you really, you genuine, genuinely, sorry, I can't even say the word. <laughs> you truly, let's try that. Truly is another word we can use. So you just, you just click that and it tells you whether it's an adjective or a noun or a verb or all that over here as well. Click OK and it will replace the word for you. Capitalize and uh, we're good to go. So you truly can make money with Facebook and here's how. So now when you're done and you, you like that, you can add optional notes. Like one thing I like doing is, let's say I ran this headline in a subject email, so, sorry, for a subject <clears throat> for an email marketing campaign. And the next day I'd like to you know know the stats. So I'd do something like, you know, like 4% open rate, 1% uh, uh, CTR, click through rate. That could be some optional notes, you know, or maybe you can have notes as like like a category. Like this is for um, you know Facebook marketing headlines. Pretty much anything you want. It's just a optional notes, and here you can have a rating. So if you'd like to rate your um, your headline, you say it performed really well in a blog post. Well, you, maybe you'd like to know that and remember that. You can come here and just rate it from zero to hundred. So let's say it's like ah, oh, it was about you know. 70% pretty nice so let's go ahead and when you're done you just insert the title by clicking the insert title button and now it's saved and it will always be in there until you delete it you have a bunch of controls over here that you can uh, do as well you can um, you can edit once you click the edit it just puts the information back up here and you can change it when it's done you just go ahead and click the update and it will update it so for example let's say you didn't want to use Facebook marketing headlines you just wanted headlines or something like that click update and it will change it right here that's pretty cool and like I said whenever you copy this so if you copy this to the clipboard you'll notice the number of copies will increment so you can see since I copied it to the clipboard it uh, recognized that and, and now I keep track of that if you want to reset that just click the little reset button but you know if you copied like five times six times another cool thing is if you actually right click and copy selected titles it will also register that as a copy or if you go control C on your keyboard, you will also register that as a copy. So that's pretty cool. So now let's go ahead and go to Swipe Bank. You can do the same thing. Like say you like this headline, you can add it there. And you like that, you can go ahead and insert it. News headlines, you like this one here, insert it. So now you'll keep Obviously, you can go ahead and change the rating there. The rating got stuck for that one, so you can edit. You can change that if you like. It's just an easy way of keeping track of titles that you want to use in the future. So it's a really handy tool. You can go ahead and you can save all of your titles to uh, a data file. The data file can only be opened up within the Fresh Title software. So if you save it as a titles data file, you can only load title data files in here. But you can save all this data to a, a CSV file, which is just a common delimited file to use in Excel or something like that, or just a text file. And we also have the handy little feature there where you can open up the last folder that you're working in. That's nice when you go to save, like say if you save this data to a data file, and it's like, oh darn, where did I just save that file? Well, you can go file, open last working folder, and boom, you're there. The one last thing I forgot to mention here is you can export all the uh, the headlines from any one of these tools to a CSV or text file. And again, you can also go to the last working folder. So that's basically it. This software is incredibly powerful for trying to figure out what you want to write for a new title or headline, or if you just need to come up with some ideas for what to write about. This is also an awesome tool, especially inside the Swipe Bank and news headlines. Thanks for watching.
In this short video, I'm going to show you a new feature that I just added in version 1.0.0.1 of the Fresh Title software. Now, I'm not going to go through all the different features inside this video. Um, I still recommend watching another video down on this page here that shows you the full quick start of how to use it. But I just want to illustrate one feature we added here. It's called the tags. Now, this was um, requested by a customer that, uh, brilliant idea, by the way. Thank you very much for giving us that idea. But basically, what we had before was just this note column here we added a new column called tags and this will allow you to add tags to uh, say a set of different headlines that you want to use for different things now the example this customer gave me was uh, they like to save lists of famous copywriters and the tag would actually be the copywriters name so that's one idea and of course you can do that with the notes as well but it just gives you an extra element of saving your titles really easily so all you have to do now is just basically just entering your tags like you can see some some samples down here let's just do a sample real quickly uh, you know this is my headline and then I want to add some tags say this is to do with I don't know like uh, my blog posts or something like that and maybe the the blog is actually SEO so you can put SEO like that you just have to enter the word separated by comma and then you can do any notes you want it doesn't really matter um, I'm not going to put anything there in this, this example, but you can see down here I, I like adding notes for like um, my open rates and click through rates and things like that if I have Aweber headlines here. Now this software looking at right here, this is actually my design software. I don't have all my titles in here, but anyways, just for some example to show you how to use it. And again, you can add a rating. Again, I show all this in a different video, but I did add one other thing here. You see these little X's, so if you just want to clear out the text, you just click that instead, so it makes it a little easier. And then once you're done, just go ahead and insert your um, headline into your database here. And now we have your tags. And the next feature I added here was the ability to search um, not just by title, but also by the other thing. So what you do is, you, just like the other tools, just click the search down here. And I added this new little drop down here. So you can search, when you use the instant search, what this does, it just goes ahead and searches um, all when it says all what it's doing it's searching in the title column the tags and the notes column and so you can actually select now which column you'd like to search in so for tags say for example you only wanted to see the ones that had news and then boom you can see it right away and you get access to these titles then you can do all the sorts of things you need to do like copy it to your clipboard or even edit it and do whatever you got to do so that's basically it. That's the new features I added in there. I did um, fix up a few little minor things in the background that I didn't spot the first time I designed the software. It's to do with um, exporting data. So uh, you may not have encountered a problem. You may have. But anyways, I, I cleaned that all up. Some minor little bugs in there with version 1.0.0.1. So go ahead and grab the latest version. Thanks for watching and make sure you check out the other video on this page.